catch your death. What the flying fudgery is that? Ooh, this feels quite tight on my big fat ass. I'm crazy, but you like that. I bite back. This is on your nightstand. Never forget it. Hello and welcome. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Hello. So, um, little random interlude. Do you remember these cupboards? Do you remember the hot mess that they were? Well, look at them now in all of their glory. Um, so, hello everyone. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Um, Christmas is literally less than two weeks away, which is freaking crazy. But today we are all here for a Zara haul. I definitely go through stages with Zara and I am so excited for their January sales because their January sales are like peak, peak. That is when Zara is at its absolute best. So we are gonna get on with this video. I picked up a wealth of stuff, some really like fun and different pieces for me, which I always like to try. And of course, we are still in the season of giving. So I'm gonna be doing a hundred pound Zara voucher in this video giveaway. So to enter, all you need to do is comment on this video with the black heart emoji, follow me on YouTube, so subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at me score. I can't talk today, at Misha underscore Grimes. Comment on the black heart and like my most recent pick. And then I'll pick a winner in like a week or so. So let's get the wiggle on. I've got three like separate packages. Um, whereas like, whereas? My brain isn't working. Okay, Misha, take a moment. Look at yourself in the mirror. You've got this, you can speak English. Great start. Anyway, we'll start with the biggest package. Um, now. We all know that I like a cardigan, and I actually have this exact cardigan in green. I picked it up in green when I was in the store. Kind of wish I got the pink instead of the green, because I love the colour, but it's kind of like difficult to match with things. Whereas we all know I could match pink with everything. I will say these buttons on it are absolutely gorgeous, but they're not very practical because they've got like bits all around the edges so can you see that like when I'm opening it so like these won't last you long long term like I'm not going to deny that um just because of that um so it is a little bit difficult to open but I'm assuming like once you've done it quite a few times like it gets a bit looser so this was £29.99 and I'm pretty sure I got my last one in a medium so I also got this one in a medium um, they are a little bit itchy, but not like bad. Oh, this is so cute. Like, I love how it's got like the long bits in the arms, the little pom-poms, and it goes like puffy sleeves, pom-poms, little buttons. Like, I honestly just think this is an absolute dream. Would I wear this outfit? No, because it's a little bit too OTT, but you could even like have them done up. It looks a little bit more like nude on the camera. It is quite a nudey pink. So if you are someone that isn't into like majorly pink items, then I think this would be perfect, but it's really, really stinking cute. So I'm very pleased with that. And I personally don't think 30 pounds is too bad because it's very thick, very warm. Um, the only problem you might face is like trying to fit a coat un underneath. Who wears a coat underneath? A coat over the top. Okay, I'm gonna do this haul and I'm gonna be neat because normally my room looks like an absolute bomb site after I film, but I'm determined to stay tidy. Just a little FYI, I'm sat editing this video and my room is a bomb site. Whoops. She says, okay. Maybe I'll go with this, just because it's like Christmassy. Now, the reason I'm actually doing this haul is because a lovely lady messaged me. Oh, this is broken. Great start. Messaged me a picture of this dress and she was like, oh my God, you need this. And I saw it and I was like, oh, you're not wrong. I do. Um, and hence why this Zara haul was born. Where is the zip? Sadly, it has got a little broken bit on the buttons. Now, what size did I get this? Because this looks quite small. This was a size small. It's £59.99. And how the hell do I get this on? Like, do I go over the head? <laughs> One sec. Not gonna lie, I absolutely hate dresses. 
that have to go over your head because they're so annoying for your makeup. So it's kind of like mesh with fluffles and a collar and everything going on. And then it does have like a modesty dress underneath. Um, oh, they keep the bow that long. Oh, okay. I'll leave it at the moment and we'll see. Um, by the way, what I'm wearing originally, this little crop top is from Shein and my joggers are from Misguided Playboy. Um, and then I've also got brand new lounge underwear on, which is very nice. Okay. So, ooh, this feels quite tight on my big fat ass. I'm hoping this looks cute. Not that I have any Christmas parties to go to. If you had like a Zoom Christmas party, this would be perfect. Um, oh no, don't tell me the zips are good. I will say the zip doesn't feel, oh there we go, that great quality. I was really scared that I was about to like rip my skin. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to undo this bow. I think it's a little bit too like long. So I just feel like I look a bit strange. Give me a sec. On for a more exaggerated bow, but then I like how it's not got as long like hangy bits. So here is the dress. I do think this is stunning. This is like a Christmas red without being like, oh look, she's dressed in red. Like I don't think anyone would do that, but you know what I mean? Like red is obviously such a big choice around this time of year. But this is a very like rich, whiny red, um, which I really, really like. I actually really enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the shape. Um, I feel like it gives me a nice shape and the rouging on the sides kind of give me bigger hips, which in turn makes me look a little bit more snatched in hourglass. Um, so yeah, it's not at all like itchy with the mesh. I love these sleeves. I think they are stunning um i really really like it i really like it 60 pounds and i do think that this is the kind of dress that i would maybe only wear at christmas time but okay hear me out i don't think you just have to wear this for like a party vibe i think stick some tights with it and some knee-high boots or some like doc martens leather jacket I think you've got it. Sorry, I keep looking back here. I'm just trying to check myself out, basically. But no, this is stunning. A lot of money, but it is stunning. And it matches my nail polish. Very stinking well. Okay, so sticking with the dress vibe, but going with something completely different. I have this literal ankle length, cream bodycon, turtleneck, long sleeve dress. I've never worn anything like this in my life because I always feel like I'm not curvilicious for it, but we're gonna try it out. Um, also, the fact it's cream and I've got a full face of makeup on, we are not even gonna go there. How are you not supposed to get your entire face of makeup on it? Like, I just don't understand. But anyway, I'm gonna put it on. Absolutely gorgeous fit. I feel so like sexy and sassy in it, which is really interesting because it obviously goes to my ankles. I will attempt to show you, but please take no judgment of my messy bedroom. Okay, am I gonna, I need to go way lower with the camera. I'm so sorry. Does anyone out there actually know how to get a full length? The problem is that YouTube is like landscape and like we're used to everything being portrait mode. Um, can you see the length yet? I don't know if you can, but it pretty much comes to like the bottoms of my calves. Um, so I wouldn't go out for this in like a muddy walk because as you walk and like flick up the mud, um, it's gonna be interesting. But I am in love with this. I'm not sure how much it was. Um, it was only £29.99. Okay, I think I might be sold. Can you let me know? I think £29.99 for this is insane. Um, I'll bring you back in. We're coming back in. Okay, so now the reason I really like this dress is because I feel like, oh, you're all the way down there. God, you can tell I need a coffee. I'm such a flake, I'm sorry. Also, this hairstyle is interesting. So the reason I actually wanted this dress was to like layer things to make myself look really fashionable. I went into an interesting accent there. So I got this grey vest, which was £25.99. Got it in a size medium, I think. Okay, this looks better in my head in terms of putting them together. I feel like I should have got this in a small. 
um, because I just think like on the shoulders it's a bit too wide. So although I think this would look really nice by itself, I don't think it works <laughs> with the dress. And also maybe I should have gone like dark under and then light over rather than light and then dark. Like my mum has a real issue with putting dark things over light things. And I feel like I get it with this one. Um, I'll try it on in a second without the dress on. Uh, but I did also get another version of the pink and green cardigan but this is like a thicker woollier version and it has these gorgeous pearly buttons this one is also in a medium and it's 29 pound 99 so the same price oh it's still got that problem though of like fitting in the hole because it's like such a beautiful button it like catches um i don't know if this is going to be like too much cream but in my head this could look lovely um we will find out in due course. Okay, okay. So, oh my goodness me, I'm in love with this already. Okay, some may say this is too much cream. I just think this looks so classy. I think I look so elegant. Um, yes, it would look good with just like a pair of jeans and stuff like that. But I'm kind of here for the all cream look. Is that really silly? Um, it's literally the exact same shape as the other cardigans. Apart from the fact that this ends with like the fabric rather than like a rouged and cinched little wrist warmer <laughs> situation. Um, but no, this is absolutely lovely. Um, it's funny, everything seems to be £29.99 in this haul. Okay, so, um, I think I actually have, do I have, okay, I do have this. And I've seen everyone and their mum on Instagram wearing it. And when I first saw these, I was like, what the flying fudgery is that? And then I seen everyone on Instagram, they look really cool in it. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll try. So I got one of these. Obviously, I'm not going to put it over this dress. Um... But I don't get what I'm supposed to wear with it. Like, I just, I just don't know. Um, I'll put some bottoms on as well. So I'll pop these on. I picked up these joggers. I got a pair of Miss Pap joggers that I've worn quite a lot recently that are like flared at the bottom. And I really, really like them. And then when me and Jake were in London the other day, he was like, I am obsessed with those joggers. Like, are they new? Like, what? He was like, you need them in every colour. They look great. So... I actually ordered these before he said that, but thanks for the compliment, babe. Um, this is a slightly different style. This is a slightly wider style. The other ones are like tight and then they flare. Which, you know me, I'm not normally into a tight trouser, but I really like them. Um, so these were £17.99, which I think is a really, really good price for Zara. Um, and I got these in a size small. I'm glad I did because in joggers, I sometimes size up, but these seem like pretty like wide. Um, so let's pop these bad boys on hopefully they'll look really cool not that i need any more joggers i think 2020 has been the year of joggers for me oh i don't know they're quite darn short okay let me put a top on with the other thing and then i'll be back so when i said that i had no clue what to wear this top with I meant it because I've currently got it on with a bra. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's the right colouring. So we'll try that. I don't think this is how people wear it because that would be a bit silly. But it's another blooming turtleneck. So for this tiny bit of fabric, this is the same price as the joggers, which, I mean, I said the, pro the joggers were reasonably priced, but how am I paying £18 for a arm warmer and a shoulder warmer? I kinda think it's cool. <laughs> I don't think I'm cool enough for it. And obviously I would not wear a bra with it, but it's quite funky. But then I don't see that you could wear anything that isn't like a strappy little top because like you couldn't wear a shirt underneath this. You couldn't wear like a vest. I just don't know what you could wear underneath apart from a crop top. So I might have to do some stalking on Pinterest to see how people style them. It is lovely. It is really nice quality. Is it still worth the same price as the joggers? No, but I actually don't like these joggers. Um, I'll try and show you. Like, the waistband's fine, 
Um, but I don't think they're that flattering. I know joggers necessarily aren't, but the pockets kind of stick out. Um, and then I feel like they're a bit weird on my crotch. And then like, I wish you could see like what the legs look like on person on me, because I just, I'm just getting like camel toe wide leg trouser vibes. And that wasn't really what I was going for. Um, to be fair, at least they got my bum crack. So they make that look a little bit better. Uh, could you go out in this outfit? Absolutely not right now. You'd freeze. You'd, what is that Miranda quote? You'd catch your death. Um, but I still think it's cute. <laughs> Just not very practical. Oh, should I try on the vest now then, whilst I have these joggers on? So, here is me with the vest on. Now, I just think the vest of the vest, the shape of this vest, is just ill-fitting. And I know they're not supposed to be like that, because that's not the style. Um, but I just feel like I look like a cardboard square. I know that's... Sorry, I had an itch. <laughs> lovely you know that like squares cereal so although i love the color i love the knit of it i think it is a really good like staple piece i don't love the shape of it so it's gonna have to be a no how stinking adorable is this i actually need this as like a top like this is really quite flattering i can tell people wear tops like this um so this is actually a, a little um romper yeah is that what you'd call it like a play suit um it's in like a nudie color and it's so cute like this is kind of like outerwear loungewear and like pajama wear all in one um again this is a little bit outside my comfort zone because it's skin tight like i don't really wear many things that are skin tight um just because you know it's not really what i normally go for because it's not what i feel like my most comfortable in um but i think this is so cute like it's a really beautiful like heavy ribbed fabric like it's really really good quality i stand by the fact that this would be a lovely top it's got really nice long arms it's also not bummy um i just don't know if i wore this if i'd feel a little bit too like self-conscious um just being completely honest like i'm i'm not gonna pretend that i'm always 100 percent like oh my god i'm so fit like sometimes I don't have those days and I feel like this is something that would just make me feel a little bit like oh and you don't need to feel like that like rock what you got but you know what I mean like if it's something that I know I won't feel 100% in then I don't really want to keep something that is I know is not going to make me feel good about myself um I do really like it I just feel like the bottom I think my problem is that the like shorts bit they just go straight down and I think I'd find it a bit more flattering if it went like up at the thighs if anyone agrees with me you know like things a bit more flattering when they go shorter at the side of the thigh um but it's still really stinking cute moving on to the next box I did pick up one pair of shoes I love Zara shoes they're just quite expensive um so these were £89.99 so I'm hoping that I hate them and I won't want to keep them because I mean, it's not bad for like a really good quality boot, but it's just a lot of money. Um, so these are like a trickery, kind of like builder style, I don't know the technical term, boot in like this gorgeous nude. I feel like this looks very big. Got it in a size six. Um, I don't know if they're a little bit too... God, I don't know if I'm gonna get this on my foot now. Okay, so the boots are on and I'm gonna try not to break anything um i love the idea of them like i love all of this but i hate the toe like it's so squared well this is a struggle it's so squared off that my foot honestly looks so ugly oh i've just realized i got my glasses on uh, my camera died so i just had to let it charge for a little bit hence why i probably look a little bit like i'm disheveled because i've just been laying on my bed this entire time um but yeah i'm glad that these very expensive shoes on a vibe um because i want to save myself some money okay i don't know if i can get it off but fine okay i'm gonna have to try oh no oh no no one's here to come and like cut me out of this shoe i can't cut myself up a shoe that's 89 pounds Oh no. Has anyone been to like a shop, tried something on and then got stuck in it and had to be cut out of it? Is it just me that that's happened to? I think I was in like Ted Baker and I tried on like a skirt 
and the zip got stuck and the woman literally had to cut it off me. I didn't have to pay for it because obviously the item was faulty, but still embarrassing as hell. I'm pretty sure they even got like butter from the staff room to like try and make it work, but it didn't. Okay. Last thing I picked up is this bad boy. Now this literally came in its own box. It is a huge hoodie. Now it said it was oversized and it was only extra small to small or medium to large. So I got the extra small to small. And like, guys, this is an absolute dress. Um, this was £49.99. This is the thickest thing. Like, it came in its own box. It's that thick. I wish you could feel it. Like, it just didn't look like that on the website. Um, which is kind of good and bad. Like, it's so cosy. It's so, like, practical if it was cold. But I don't know that many of my coats would fit underneath it. And then also it's actually not long enough to be like a dress. Because I lift up my arms like it's too short. So I love it. I just think it's like a weird like in between of like a jumper dress and then a jumper. So like it's a bit long for me to then wear like a skirt with it. And I think if I wore joggers with that I just look like a blob. Um, so I like the idea, just not sure about the execution. But anyway, I'm gonna love you guys and leave you. I'm gonna run off to Starbucks and get myself an oat milk latte. But I hope you have enjoyed this little Zara haul. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys think. Let me know what you think I should keep because I'm filming this just before you guys are seeing this. So, enjoy. Love you guys lots. Have a lovely rest of your weekend and bye. Make sure to video like and subscribe.